come to pick her up. They have a new playground. So she won't let me leave until she swings. So I just want to come and vent to you guys about my hair journey that I've been on. If you hear this dog in the background, my neighbors have this little teacup Yorkie and he's really cute, but he gets on my nerve. Every time I come over in this corner, the kids always bark at him and stuff. So every time he picks up on any sound when he's in the backyard, he is right here by my fence barking my ear off because he has nothing else better to do with his life. I have been on a natural hair journey for three years. Okay. It's had its ups. It's had its downs. And I think, I mean, for the most part, it was a, it's been a positive journey and it's just been me trying to make my hair more healthy and grow out and be thicker and stronger and longer, of course. And I feel like my hair was thicker and stronger and it got to a point where it was really, really long and then it just started to break off and kind of just stop growing. So, um, but I've been kind of just still working on it. I love my natural hair so much. And then a couple weeks ago, I decided to straighten my hair, okay, because it's like, well, I'm just tired of, you know, the kinky curls, and I just want to straighten my hair and let it be straight, and I straightened it, and then the first time I straightened it, I was like, my hair is still like an afro, so I'm going to go to the store, I'm going to buy another hot iron, flat iron, and I'm going to buy one that gets a little hotter, because I feel like I need hotter, like a higher temp setting to get my hair straight. So this time, it was in the same week I washed and conditioned my hair, and then I went over it with the flat iron, which was a big, big mistake. So anyway, I flat ironed my hair twice, and then I left it like that for like a week. And then I was like, all right, you know, I'm kind of over my hair being straight. I can't really just throw it up into a ponytail like I like my little poofy ponytail. So basically, I got heat damage from flat ironing my hair, and I freaked up my three years of basically everything I did so as you guys can see right now I have a lot of different textures I cut a lot of it off you could you guys could tell how small my puff is usually it's way big and crazy and doing something like this is small and there's a lot of straight ends still and like some of my hair is like I mean it's just all messed up so I'm gonna have to basically start over and just I, I don't want a big chop because I'll be bald literally I messed up my hair so that's my event for today be careful what you do with your flat iron and I watched vlogs on here on YouTube and they would like girl one pass through and that shit was laid and wavy and flowy and I'm just like my hair is super super thick super super coiled I don't understand how they can get their hair. I don't. I can't get mine. I don't care how many conditioners or oils I put in it or how much I deep condition it before. When I put that high, flat iron through, I just don't get that bounce effect. I don't get that. I don't understand how people. So anyway, I was trying to get it, you know, down laid, and I messed myself up. I could be real with y'all, right? I, I'm gonna be real with y'all right now. So sometimes I feel like people misunderstand my intentions like I know for the most part my girls who ride with me know that I'm not out here to like get personal information or anything shady like that just to be funny like I'm not gonna put my whole life and all my personal information out on YouTube just to steal people's information and have you guys have a place to come find me I just want to make sure you guys understand I have clientele that is in my city I also have family members that are not in my city that will be sending me their stuff the same way I told you guys so here's the thing if you guys don't feel comfortable that is fine you don't have to I still love you guys I still thank you for watching my videos I'm still gonna rock with y'all I don't care it's just that I want to put it out there because if I'm gonna be reaching people in all different in all these different markets how silly would it be for me to be an entrepreneur and not plug myself of course I'm gonna do that I want you guys to also understand too that this is not like some back alley I just woke up one morning I was like, I'm gonna do taxes and I don't I'm gonna sell Google how to be a tax preparer no I don't have an accounting degree or anything like that I'm not gonna sit up here and try to pretend like I went to college for it I have not 
but I am certified. I do have experience. I have been professionally trained and I have been professionally trained for in-house with my mom and um, things like that. I literally, guys, grew up with her in the tax office. So I just wanted to put that out there. I want you guys to understand there are different sides to me. My YouTube side is my chill side. I vent to you guys. I show you my life. I hang out with you guys and this is me but then again you guys don't really know me on a professional level and I want to make sure that we keep those two things separate you know what I mean I'm not who I am in my personal life necessarily who I am in my professional life so just understand those things and I'm not begging for anybody's information you don't feel comfortable don't do it if you think you might want to and then also that, that allows you to get to know me on a personal level because we, we get to have phone conversations and we get to s Skype or FaceTime or whatever and you know what I mean we get to have that different connection because we now know each other on a personal level than we would have if we would have just kept it the way where you're watching me on YouTube and I don't really know you I mean, it is what it is. I love you guys. Either way, it, it is what it is. So I just wanted to hit those two topics, those two points, and let you guys know what I'm doing. And I'm really excited. I can't wait um, to really get this show on the road of my office. I am currently, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of that too. It's really awesome. I'm just working on getting it furnished and put together and together getting all my equipment and my systems up and ready to go by january and so hopefully everything is good to go and i will show you guys soon what everything looks like um thanks for everybody for all the congrats and everything like that but yeah please comment below let me know what kind of um vlogs you might want to see from me i know someone told me on my last um vlog that they wanted to see makeup tutorial um so i'll probably do that here coming up pretty soon but yeah please let me know what you want to see from us um about the kids or whatever you know i'm open so just let me know thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time don't forget to watch my last video subscribe to me on instagram at and subscribe to my channel for more vlogs